need to label our markers. So we can close, mi uh, minimize that and then uh, expand the, the, marker, um, the marker thing. Um, and you'll see that when you click on the markers, they'll be highlighted and then you can start to label them. Okay, so uh, these are the labels I'm going to use and I'll, I'll say what they are as I'm doing it. Um, you're welcome to use different labels if you want, although uh, my terms are anatomical and generally they're uh, used throughout the industry. So you may want to use them, although it's not um, necessary. Uh, first is going to be left P uh, A S I. Um, we'll go to the next dot, and that's going to be right ASI. Okay, moving along. Um, this is going to be left PSI posterior, P posterior. This is going to be uh, right PSI. Um, okay, that's going to be sacral dot. Uh, okay, so uh, that's going to, you can move around, zoom in around. This is going to be left front shoulder, so I'm going to call this left front shoulder. Okay, um, this is going to be right front shoulder. Okay, this is going to be left back shoulder. And this one is going to be right back shoulder. And this one is going to be chest. And this one's going to be C7. That's one of our spinal uh, column bones. Uh, it has a protrusion which you can feel in your neck. This is going to be the sternum. Uh, this is going to be T10, another spinal segment. Okay. Uh, now this is going to be left front of the head, left front head. Okay. This is going to be um, right front head. This is going to be left back head. Uh, this is going to be right back head. Um, okay, so moving along. So that's going to be our left elbow. Okay, this is going to be left arm. This is going to be uh, rotating around. That's going to be, uh, let's call this left wrist. Well, and then we'll call this one left left wrist medial and then we'll call this one uh, left forearm and this one's going to be left finger okay so same dots other side um, this is going to be right uh, right elbow uh, we can scroll down a bit uh, this is going to be left uh, sorry right arm if I can spell uh, this is going to be right wrist, and this is going to be right wrist medial, going with the same naming convention as above. Uh, this is going to be right forearm. Uh, this one is going to be right finger. Okay, and continuing on. So now we'll kind of rotate around. This is going to be left knee. This is going to be uh, left femur. Uh, this is going to be left ankle. This is going to be uh, left tibia. Okay. And this is going to be, I'm going to call it left toe, although it's not really left toe. Um, this is going to be left MT5, uh, five being the small toe, one being the big toe. This is going to be left MT1, again, one being the big toe. And this is going to be left heel. Okay, so we'll use the same naming convention, other side. Uh, so this is going to be right knee. Uh, this is going to be right femur. This is going to be right ankle. This is going to be right tibia. This is going to be right toe. This is going to be right MT5. 
this is going to be right MT1, and this is going to be right heel. Okay, so that's it. All our dots are now labeled. Um, we can we can click anywhere. Now we can take our slider, we can move ahead forward, and we can see how well it tracks. And you can see it loses one dot uh, somewhere later on. But this doesn't matter because this is our T-pose. He doesn't actually move around. Uh, what we really need is only one frame to be labeled properly. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to save this. So uh, first thing we want to do is we want to save our model, right? And that'll be Brian. Okay, so... Now, um, we want to be able to use this naming template again in the future. So, for example, when uh, Helen puts the suit on, uh, what we'll do is we'll make a, a subject called Helen, and then what we'll do is we will use our model template, which we're going to save right now. Um, I would suggest saving this to my documents, to Vicon, and just uh, in here, so in the Vicon directory, um, call it an intro uh, to mocap2008. Um, template. Okay, save that, and that, that'll be saved. Okay, that's good. Now what we want to do is we want to save our file, which we do from, um, we can do it from up here, Control S. We can also click this little disk button here, which is nice because when it's saved and you don't need to save again, it will become gray, as you can see now. Okay, uh, that's it for this tutorial. Um, well, I'll make another one shortly on how to properly label uh, segments in the next file, and then we'll work on filling gaps.